Garching Forschungszentrum, the crown jewel of Tum, the pinnacle of scientific enterprise. But what does this campus actually have to offer? Today I'll present my favorite spots you've probably not heard of. So the first spot's a place that's hidden in plain sight, but very few people actually know about. Hidden on the fourth floor, the penthouse workstation in the engineering department is a very cool place to study. Not just only for the Windows XP software running on those old PCs you see right here, but also the overview of the entire building. It's a pretty chill place. It's located on the fourth floor. There's not much going on. I was once told that the red and green boxes you can see here uh, that periodically hang from the ceiling, they're actually depicting the landing descent of a Boeing or Airbus airline. Well, next up, we have the idyllic excursion to the Isa Owen, which is located outside the physics building on the far eastern side of campus. So the Isa actually flows straight through campus, or better to say, to the east of it. And outside the physics department, there's a little walkway that leads to this spot. This is actually a bike path that leads all the way back to Center City, so you should try it out sometime. And this really is the hidden gem on the outskirts of campus. So back when I was a physics student, I used to take a lot of breaks here for fun. Also, if you decide to take the long loop, you can actually pass the renowned sewage treatment plant. If Forget Gucci perfume, this is the real eau de toilette. Next up, located on the western side of the chemistry building, we have the chemistry terrace. So this is a pretty chill place. Um, it's kind of hidden. There is a student cafe that you can see very easily if you walk inside the chemistry building, but the terrace is outside. And so it's actually facing westwards. You can enjoy a lot of sunsets here. Now there's a pretty cool exhibit that's actually kind of neat. It's the closest thing to a museum on campus. And they even have a periodic table that contains radioactive elements like uranium. So a short aside here, the chemistry building is actually the most confusing building on campus by far. And I mean really, I mean the faculty even has a dedicated website to help students find their way. So not only do you have floors, but also colors, but the colors are again denoted as numbers. And so they come before the actual room number, which in turn comes before the actual floor number. Huh? Moving on, this is my favorite on this campus, the building surrounding the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics and Astrophysics. So sadly, uh, Max Planck wasn't very Tum, but Tum I guess got the last laugh because his institute is located right on campus too, on the south side, and wow, do they have very cool architecture. Now the planetarium has a very nice exhibit, so I really recommend anyone that's studying in Gaching to at least check it out once because the exhibit is a really cool place. And the other houses from the institute are just really nice designs. I mean, they look cool from the ground already, but looking from above, I mean, come on, this house already looks like a fidget spinner alien base, right? I can't be the only one. Well, I mean, no Tum video about campus uh, will be complete without showing the iconic Gragula slides, of course. Be sure to check this out as well. Good scenic spot, Math and CS building, King as always. And uh, yeah, that completes the video. Uh, thanks for watching and take care. See you soon.